So today, I will be playing through Stardew Valley, but every single item hurts me. It's a custom mod that I had commissioned. I've coded it, so, or I worked with someone who helped me code it, so that all of the items in the game will deal damage to me, depending on how rare they are. So substances like wood, fiber, and stone are gonna deal one damage, and substances that are like more rare will do like two to three, like uh, forage and stuff from the mines, copper and stuff like that. And I think I'm just gonna try and play through it as much as I can. My soft goal is to try and get to level 40 of the mines. All right, let's get into this. Oh my God, <laughs> you see, you just saw the first thing there. I just took six damage. I haven't even left my house yet. I forgot that just like moving furniture. Oh my God, this is killing me. <laughs> oh my God, this is, <laughs> okay. Get rid of all that stuff. Oh my God. So we haven't even left the house. We're at 84. We have got 84 health left. <laughs> Each piece of fiber is damaging me by one. So clearing is gonna be uh, not very fun, really. <laughs> oh my god, we're already at 68 damage. Oh my gosh, and all I've done is clear so far. Maybe I should just leave some- Because I don't need fiber, I just need to clear it, you know? Maybe I should just like fill up my inventory so I don't pick all this stuff up. Yeah, but I'm setting my soft goals as try and hit floor 40 of the mines, but really I'm just trying to get as far as I can, like on the community center and everything. At least we got our parsnips up. It's gonna be really important to get parsnips, A, for money, but also we need stuff that restores health as soon as possible. Like, it's so important. Okay, I need some wood for a chest, but I I'm so scared. Oh God, I know this is gonna hurt. I'm just prepping for the inevitable. Oh my God, it did so much damage. Okay, we need a chest though. Oh, we are gonna be making a trip to Dr. Harvey's very soon. Oh my God, okay. I can't, I can't pick up any more wood or I will die. <laughs> Without a doubt, I will die. Oh my God. No, I didn't want to make seeds. Okay, it's just so force of habit to decide everything on screen. Okay, I need forage. I need some sort of forage. Otherwise, I'm gonna die out here. The mines are gonna be horrible because I'm already gonna take damage from like normal stuff. I need something to eat. Give me a dandelion or something. I think I'm gonna go to Cinder's now because that's usually where the best forage is. Yes, finally! Some forage! Okay, we gotta eat that or we're gonna die. Holy crow. Do I go for this? All right, let's hit it and run. Run, run, no! Okay, thank God. Do I want the clay? No, I'm never gonna need clay, Sean. What are you talking about? When am I ever gonna use clay? It really makes you have to evaluate what is important and what is not important in this game. Somebody is asking, is saying in chat that I should shake trees tomorrow so that I can try to get acorns for field snack, which will restore energy. But I need foraging one to do that, which would require cutting down 10 trees or nine trees. And it is going to be very hard to cut down nine trees. That is going to do so. I mean, I guess I don't have to pick up the wood, but I mean, I might as well. Oh my gosh, I forgot that even in the menus, it does damage to you. Jeepers creepers. That's insane. Even when you're sitting in the menus, it does damage. Where do I even go? What do I even do? I can't pick up any wood. <laughs> I can't even go over there. I need to be very careful that I don't walk over there by mistake and accidentally pick up something. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna pick up these daffodils, right? And then sell them so I can buy a salad from Gus's saloon. Then I can use the salad to heal up. That's big brain right there. But will buying the salad kill you? You're right! Oh no! Wait, no, I've softlocked myself for the day! You're right! Oh my gosh! You're so right! I can't pick up anything else that'll heal my energy because that'll just kill me. I'm stuck. I've trapped myself. Oh God, <laughs> this is bad. Maybe it is a good idea to try and get foraging one tomorrow. And let's just like cut down these trees, right? But not pick up any of the wood. Don't pick up any of the wood. No, no, oh, 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 oh I'm hanging on by a thread here. <laughs> I did that with like, I wasn't even thinking. Oh my gosh. I did that like so subconsciously. What's my foraging at? Foraging one. Okay. Oh wait, I can plant these. I can plant these potatoes just fine. For some reason I was thinking that that was going to hurt me. I've just been scarred by the world. I'm like thinking that everything is out to get me now. What do I even do for the rest of the day? I can't pick up anything. How do you play this game if you don't pick up anything? What do you even do? I guess I gotta just go to bed. There's nothing else I can really do. I think going to bed is the only play really. 
What do you guys think? Should I ban fishing? Fishing feels a little too strong, right? Because then I could just like infinitely make more more health. You know what? No, I'm just gonna not allow fishing. I feel like it's too strong and it would sort of like defeat the purpose, I think, of everything. Then I can just like sit there and fish all day and then just like get a bunch of energy restoring stuff and just like snack on fishies all day. It's more fun to try and be like creative. I do think that trying to get field snacks is a good idea. Okay, I have to be very careful to not use my scythe on anything. Looks like I'm gonna have to Oh, wait, no. I can go around. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, there's a piece of fiber there. I really don't want to scythe this fiber, man. That feels dangerous. Give me the field snacks. Come on. I don't want to have to cut down a tree, man. That feels danger zone. Maybe in, like, a rebalanced version of mod, I would have fish do, like, 20 damage or something like that. That feels more fair. Okay. We didn't get a single acorn. Well, feasibly, right? We keep, like, chaining field snacks. We should be able to get as much wood as we need. Because I also like to put a chest in the mines, usually. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hurt so much. Let me put that mixed seeds down. Maybe I shouldn't have put that mixed seed down. Oh, it was a cauliflower. That's kind of nice. Okay, I need to be more diligent about looking. Run away, run away, run away, run away. No, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. I see nothing. What is with the seeds? I'm like trapping myself. Okay. Uh, okay, this was a mistake. I should have picked that all up. Dude, what is- where are the seeds? No seed. Not a single seed in sight. We gotta make- <laughs> We got a maple seed, but it's stuck over there in between the fiber and stuff. Oh, I got it. Okay. If you die, just keep going. If I die, I'm going to reset. Probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> ah! What do I need now? I need lots of forage. Let's go into Cinder Snap, maybe, and see if there's anything down here. Okay, this is a very dangerous game walking around with an empty inventory, but sacrifices must be made. We also have to remember the parsnips and the potatoes are going to give us decent EXP. Uh, not EXP, I'm sorry, health. Oh my god, that was so close. Why did I do that? Seven damage, that was so dumb, man. God, I'm such a fool. Okay, I think the only thing I can do really right now is go to bed. Oh my god, I'm such a fool. No, I trashed my chair. Now I can't get into the secret forest. Oh, dang it. That could have been some free forage. I forgot there's monsters on the farm. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Let's go home where it's safe. All right, let's go to bed for the day. Tomorrow it's going to rain at least, which I guess doesn't really matter because energy is sort of irrelevant. That was a lot of spring onions, man. Okay, maybe we should just sell some more stuff. Try and get some more seeds. More parsnips would be very much appreciated. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna have so many parsnips, I could probably hit the bottom of the mines before the egg festival. I'm feeling very confident. Maybe I shouldn't be feeling this confident right now. Okay, so I've checked all the forage. This really needs to give me... Let's try and get a seed from this. We're missing... The ones that we're missing are maple seeds. And that one didn't even drop a maple seed. All right, let me sell everything that I don't want so that I can buy some more seed packets when Pier is actually open tomorrow. Today's our last day of prep before it becomes the mines all the time, every day. Also, now that I think about it, I definitely should have bought parsnips on the first day because money is so irrelevant. I don't know why I bought potatoes. Money is so much more, so much more irrelevant than energy. I don't know how the health works when you're managing your inventory. Okay, I only took- okay, you only take damage the first time you get something out of a chest. That's really good to know. Oh my god, so much damage is being taken, but it's worth it. It's worth every second. I'm feeling really good. Look at all this energy, man. I seriously believe I can get to the bottom of the mines before the egg festival. I'm just that good. My goal is still only level 80, but I believe I can get to the bottom. The moment we've all been waiting for. Skip this cutscene. Okay, this is gonna be hell. We've gotta avoid these rocks. Is copper worth getting? Alright, I think I should make room for copper. Because it might be nice to get a copper pickaxe since we have to go so far so quickly. Okay, you get the heck- Get away! You get away! You get away, mister. I'm hoping to god that the club spawned today. The club crate did not spawn today. I'm gonna be angry. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Oh my god. Get away from me. Oh my god. Oh my god. They do so much damage. I forgot to bring the chest. I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb, man. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. No, no, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, okay. This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. I really was not thinking this was gonna be that hard. I like never worry about like taking damage in this game because I only ever die in like skull caverns. I'm trying to get 50 copper. 
So that, that's enough for a copper pickaxe upgrade and also a furnace. Okay, you know what? I think that actually picking up stone is a bad idea. Okay, we've blocked stone out of our inventory, which is going to be so much nicer. That is some pro strats right there. I didn't even think of doing that. I don't know why I was picking up stone this whole time. Okay, I want these cave carrots though, and I want coal. Both of those things are important. Enemies have a greater chance to spawn the exit than uh than rocks, so I'm going for it. I just want to make sure he dies on a staircaseable tile. That amethyst would be good for getting the copper pickaxe, because we need some more money. I really think that a copper pickaxe is a good idea here. Because not only are we fighting against health, we're also fighting against time, you must remember. Wouldn't that be cool if, like, if you married amethyst, she taught you how she eats? Oh my gosh, thank god. Oh, <gasps> that is so clutch! We got a club, guys! That is so, so lucky. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Holy crow, that is so nice. <gasps> we got a club, guys. I'm about to go destroy these guys. Just absolutely mess up their days. Oh, not these guys. <laughs> not these guys. Oh, oh, too bad. You die in one hit to my club. Too bad. Okay, this coal... I'm worried about this coal cart. I want to get the coal cart at the end. Wait, I just realized I need 25 stone for a furnace. Oh, that was kind of stupid. I trashed all my stone. I guess that was kind of necessary, though. Okay, well, I guess I'll focus on stone another day. <laughs> These guys think we can hit floor 20? Or am I insane? Oh, come on, infested! This is the worst thing that could happen! Infested floor, are you kidding? Eat my club. Oh, no, no, get away! Oh, there's a doggy! Oh my god, so much, so many things just happened. No, 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 get away! Where is the last enemy? I thought I killed them all. Oh, it's a stupid crab. And another doggy. Oh, I killed that in one hit. <gasps> a Pam! I mean, a yam! I'm so... Like, now whenever I think of Pam, I think of yams because of Pam's yams. Okay, I don't want to pass out. You know what? I'm going to include passing out as dying. I, I just added that rule right now. I'm going to equivocate those things to be the same thing. So let me go home. Oh my god, I forgot there's minions on the farm! I forgot about the minions! Oh my god, that was really close. I just realized that we we're on, like, the edge of our rope and there were baddies on the farm. Alright, what's the luck today? Isn't that just my luck? That is so unfortunate. It is a very unlucky day, very clearly. Maybe I shouldn't stress too much if I run out of energy today. Because the day is so unlucky. Oh my gosh, this is like mega unlucky. I guess this is why you don't go to the mines on the worst luck day. They literally tell you not to do this. All right, now let's get rid of this stupid stone so we never have to carry it around again. Goodbye, stone. The problem is gonna come when I run out of energy restoring stuff, health restoring items, I should say, and I guess I can spend another day doing it. It's just like a delicate balance. I also want to keep some of these parsnips to sell because I would love to try and get that pickaxe ASAP, but it might just not be in the cards for us. I mean, I would love to try and get this file, honestly, like, all the way to the community center. I think that would be really fun. Like, it's- I'm having a lot of fun just, like, playing around with it. And, like, deciding, like, what is useful and what isn't. Oh my gosh. Yesterday, we got down literally 25 floors. And today, it's 5 o'clock, we've gone down 5. That just goes to show you how important luck is. I'm literally running out of energy before hell. Well, that was kind of a fail of a day. That day didn't go super well. You can only do so much with piss poor luck. I didn't check the fortune today because you know what? Sometimes it's better to just not know. I think it's a good day. I'm going to be honest. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Okay, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to get out of here. No, leave me alone. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. I hate the infested floors, man. Dude, having a staircase would be so nice, though. Because I really think that it's going to be hard. Like, we have five days to go down 40 floors. And yeah, we got down, like, pretty far in the first couple days. But you have to also remember that soon everything's going to take a lot more hits to kill. I should probably buy some more crops today, I've realized. Right? I'm going to need some more snips, I think. Will they grow in time? I don't think they will. By the time I'm done with this challenge, I think they'll be all dead. I think I'm gonna change my rules to make it so that I have to carry a piece of stone on me. Otherwise, it's gonna feel a little too easy, I feel like. Yeah, I can change my rules in real time. It makes it more interesting. Otherwise, I can just block it out. All right, now we've made it to the hard portion. Oh my god, I forgot about how much hell this is. All right, this femur is really starting to show its age here. I'm really starting to see why it's not, not that great on the later floors. Oh, I forgot. I never got the boots because the remixed mine. I'm defenseless little boy. A sailor Sean without his boots. 
All right, we're getting really low on health restoring items, like extremely low. And we're only up to floor 45 and we've got like five days left. I'm kind of getting scared. Like this is starting to get be not very good, I don't think. This is starting to be very bad, in fact. Oh my gosh, okay, we are, oh, I forgot about all the tates. I'm honestly really surprised I haven't died yet. Oh no, 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 I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Oh my God, I exhausted myself. And I have the audacity to call myself a Stardew Pro. We're getting very close i think these days are killing i feel like i'm in the calm before the storm right now the energy is honestly killing me right now more than the food than the health rather oh no i just need to make it one more floor okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. all right what's gonna be here Ooh, a big sword that does nothing and is literally worse than my club great isn't that just dandy um, okay, no, I gotta go. I gotta go. Shawnee gotta go. Maybe it's a good idea to put in this copper pickaxe upgrade tomorrow and then take a couple days, get some more energy restoring stuff, take it breezy, take a chill pill and stuff. We only got like five more days. And I think the copper pickaxe will help us out a lot. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I could do this all day, right? Wait. Boop, boop. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. We need to get serious. Let's sell some stuff. Hopefully that'll be enough to get us 700 G, but who knows? Anything could happen. Probably not, but I can probably find some stuff to sell tomorrow. Time to go back for field snack farming. All right. We do need to get 300 G somehow today though. I guess I could sell my taters. That's probably a good idea. Let's sell the taters. Actually, I don't think that'll give me 300 G. Each potato sells for 80. So we need four taters. Oh, so we have enough. Nice. Should I keep the taters to try and eat next time I go to the mines? All right, well, let's try and get as much wood as we can before we die so that we can use the rest of our taters to eat. So, amazing. Big brain. We'll throw our pickaxe in there, and then we'll spend the next two days trying to go around and pick up as much forage as we can. Otherwise, we're going to die while we're in there, I think. Okay, pickaxe. Because we're running out of energy, and we so we might as well try and get some more uh, energy restoring, energy and health restoring items while we wait for that. It's a it's a dual, it's a win-win. Everybody's winning in this plan. Though we are losing three days in the mines, eight, nine, and 10. You know what, maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, well, I'm committed to it now. <laughs> maybe this is a really bad idea now that I think about it. Now that I'm thinking this through with critical thinking, I think this might've been a bad idea. <laughs> oh, well, this is definitely so stupid. <laughs> Why did I do that? I'm gonna lose three days. That's so dumb. And then I got to do this all in two days. For what? A better pick- I mean, the copper pickaxe is nice, but I'm losing three days. This was a bad idea, man. Oh wait, I guess I'm only losing two days, right? Okay, maybe this is not as bad of an idea as I thought. No, I'm a genius. And then I guess I'll just go to bed. I guess I might as well like- No, because tomorrow's my last day to pick up forage. <gasps> Bring onion, nice. Bring onions really do not give you very much health. I've realized five health is not a lot. All right, we need to be very careful about what we pick up today. I'm remembering that we only have eight health left. That is very important to remember. Okay, let's go to bed for the day. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Our pickaxe should be ready not tomorrow, but the next day. Open up, Clint. Open up, Clint. Come here, cutie. Come get your thingy. I'm here. I'm going to slowly inch there by swinging my... S Wait, let's see if before that, before he opens, I can get there by only swinging my, s my club. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to make it. I forget. Oh, no, where are you going? Where are you going, Sean? Oh, no, no, back on this way. Back on this way. Where are you going? No, no, turn around. Yes, yes, yes. Good, Sean. Oh, wait, why aren't you walking? Are you stuck? Go, Sean. What are you doing? Oh, I'm so close. Oh, wait, I got there. See, easy, guys. Oh, my God, that hurt my hand. My, like, actual arm is, like, hurts. It's, like, feels black and blue. Dude, I'm so weak. I wouldn't- I was not cut out to be, like, a, a real farmer. Thank God I have Sailor Sean to do it all for me. We've got the copper pick now. This should be a cakewalk. We've got energy restoring items. This is child's play now. It's supposed to be somewhat bad luck day, so I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get very far today, but we have to keep pushing. We've got like two days left because the egg vessel is on the 13th. So we've got today, the 11th and the 12th. To try and get to floor 80 at least. Oh no, bad time zone, bad time zone, bad time zone. These rocks doing bunzo damage is not helping either. It's just like it adds up so much over time in com combination with these little baddies. I hate it. Go away! Oh my god! Leave me alone! 
That's enough, man. Oh, nice, a wooden mallet. You know what, guys? This is so easy. I'm gonna put slime in my inventory, too. That's how good I am at this game. I'll put slime in my inventory, too. That's how confident I feel today. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Never mind, never mind. Oh my god, that was like a heart attack. This was such a bad idea. I am going to- No! I feel like it's this wooden mallet. It's doing me so dirty, man. Back when I had the femur, everything was easy breezy. What the heck is going on? There's like a million and a half enemies. What's going on? Oh, nice, a crystal fruit. That's so lucky. Those crystal fruit do like 20, yeah, 28 health. We need to at least get to 65 before day's end. <gasps> nice, okay, we got 65. All right, we need those cave carrots, baby. I don't want that dagger just in case. It'll come in handy. <gasps> no! No, <laughs> That was so stupid. <laughs> also, I'm dying at the fact that Harvey's going, he's saying my name, so he's just going, owie! <laughs> They're gonna throw up, it's so funny. <laughs> that was so stupid. Little did I think that if I was gonna die, I was gonna die in the menu. In the inventory of all places i was doing so well too i was like you know what i'm gonna pick up this slime i don't even care why not i was like this is too easy <laughs> another challenge lost oh it's not even harvey it's freaking clint this is worse <laughs> this could not be worse imagine getting saved by clint my incel savior come on man if you guys liked it, maybe I'll try this mod again. I'll try and think of like some other like creative ways to institute it because I really like it. It's a lot of fun. You have to get like very creative like with your inventory management. I would love to like try and like run to the community center or like maybe I'll like collab with someone or something with it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to keep the dagger after all that. I literally died to pick it up. I didn't even keep it. God, that was the dumbest thing I could have done. This is the fattest L I've ever taken in my entire life. All I have to say is, owie, am I right? All right, well, never mind. <laughs>